Howdy folks, welcome to episode 78. Today we're going to take a look at what we did in the bonus episode, so are you ready? Are you ready? Here's the big reveal. Do, 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 do. There we go. That was... Is it Imperial? <laughs> What's that? Okay, so yeah, here's the... <laughs> here is the new section. As you can see here, it is actually sealed in. I have not ventilated it yet. But as you can see, it is actually sealed in. And so we're going to need to do some cleanup here and get the... the um, the uh, lights and all that stuff. We're basically going to have to put in all the deco and everything like that. And so that's going to be today's thing. And first, I wanted to also show you that I, using this as a base, I made a, I made a model and put it on the workshop. And so I'm going to do this and show you this. Let's see and this and i just want to show you what this looks like there we go and yeah so this is the here let's let's use the drone here so we can get a good look at it but yeah this is the model that i put on the workshop that's now on the steam workshop there's a link in the description so i know a few people have wanted to use the hovercraft that i've got and you know it's it's uh always it's always fun to to hear that. It's also like, you know, I don't want to put this on the workshop. I want to put this, you know. I, I think you could see why. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, people who don't watch my series might want a, a hovercraft. And I want to make something cool that, that people are going to like, even if they don't watch my series or anything. And so we're going to get rid of this thing. 36721. Destroy... Three six seven two one. I don't want to. I don't want to hit the wrong number. <laughs> but yeah, that is. <laughs> there we go. So anyway, that's that's what that ship is. I just want to show you guys that. And so let's get to. Let's get down to. Let me see. Where did I put the? Where did I put the? I need to make more lights too. Let me get some lights going in here too, because we're gonna need to put some in. So let's go here, and we'll go. So yeah, we'll get some lights put in, and let me see, where did I put the fences, those things? Let me see, dump chest, they gotta be in here. Yeah, here they are, okay. So I've got these, and I think I need some doors too. I don't think I have any doors left. I think we used the last one on the CV. And so we're gonna make some, we're gonna get some doors crafting too. And let's see here, so we'll do, sure, 10 of those, why not? All right, and so we're going to have to figure out where we're going to ventilate this thing. And so these here, I wanted to show you, these here are going to be the girders. And so we're going to put like, whoops, not that. We're going to put this. That's the one I was looking for. So yeah, we're going to put this texture along here. And I will not bore you with all of the painting in the episode. But I just wanted to give you the basic outline of what this is going to be and so yeah that's going to be like these girders and then we're going to probably do the same thing similar to what we did on the other wing is have these are going to be big girders too and going along the length of this and then something like that so and i might even i might even do this instead for the for the deco in this one because it's the same height and I like the way this works. I, I like the way it looks. I think it looks nice. And it's supposed to be like more of a living quarters type of thing instead of instead of the, the let me see what we can do with these lights here while I'm yapping away. But yeah, instead of like the more industrial or whatever. And the other thing we're gonna do in here is we're going to use these girders and let me see, I probably should do that this way. We're gonna use these 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 things and we're gonna make some, let's see, something like this. I guess we're gonna have to use the, I guess we're gonna have to use the, uh, the drone for that so that we can get this out here. But what I'm thinking is I can do something like this and we can, 
make some special rooms over here and I want them to be either like this you know maybe some of them like this and let me see like that does that is that the way I want that no I do want that the other way okay I'm gonna have to take these out so but yeah I want to do is this no it's on repair okay I want to do some rooms over here so I'm because I'm kind of thinking I'm not sure if I'm gonna move the oxygen because that doesn't look horrible right there, although I think it would look... Is my plant... Oh, it's just disappearing. Okay. Because of distance. I thought my plant just died or something. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to do some oxygen tanks and we need some cargo room and stuff like that. And so we're going to do a couple of these. Let's see if we can get this. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So I wanted to get these in here and we can do this. And then we can, what did it just do? Tell me it didn't, tell me it didn't waste all my blocks when it did that. Did that. And let me see, oh, it didn't SI them. It just did no empty space. Okay, so we can do this and this, and then we can put like a door on here or something. I'm not sure if we even need a door on this, but the other thing I need to do here is I need to get some lights put in and I think we were using let me let me see what we've got in these other rooms here so in this we've got those we've got all these things are we using any of these diagonals yeah we got them in the corners we have them in the corners so I believe it was both the diagonals and those were the ones we were using so we're gonna continue on with that sort of theme and find where these will fit I think maybe these will go like this. I think that'll work if we put these lights up here. So what we're going to need to do is put the intensity probably all the way up. Let's see. Let's see if that's... Yeah, because these are so high up in the air, so far off the ground, we're going to have to do that. And that should keep all of these at the right intensity. So yeah, good, good. I think that's going to work. We'll have to see how it looks at night. I may have to turn them down to a three instead of the four that I have them at right now. But we're going to put these in here, and then we'll end up putting in logic signals so that they're not on 24-7 when we're not in here. And that, see how much difference that makes already, right? <laughs> and we could probably even put some down here, put a couple of these no there we go okay so yeah we can put some let me see where do we want to put those and we still need to take out this thing too but let me see we're gonna put some right here I think and here and I think we're gonna tune those down a little bit let's see let's turn those down to three and see how that looks and yeah this planet is kind of inherently dark just because it's the the sunlight is not totally white it's you know off color I think is the reason it makes it not as bright and then let's see can we put we can either put yeah I think we can put these in the corners so let's do this and this side I don't think those aren't gonna really overlap yeah that's about that's about right I mean that's daylight this this is broad daylight so it shouldn't be like super dark and yeah, that works. I like that. Okay, so the other thing we need to do here is we need to take out this force field and we need to put in the blocks. And so I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to need to turn off the oxygen in this room. That's what I'm going to need to do. I'm going to need to turn off this ventilator. So let's go do this. And we're going to turn off this ventilator. Let me Let me just make sure. Yeah, I don't have like the oxygen is not going to overflow so we can turn that off no if we turn that oh deoxygenize I'm sorry yeah it's been a while <laughs> I totally forget that okay so now our O2 signal just went off and so now we should be able to let's see we are on a heat wave it is pretty hot out there so what we've got is these blocks here are actually sealing the thing so we should be okay to take this out 
and not die. So we're going to we're going to make sure that we're on this some force field emitter. Okay. All right, and we are still at 22 degrees, which as it should be. And we're going to put in this. We're going to put in all these blocks. There we go. And there we go. All right, and then we're actually going to put in I think we're going to put these up here. Yeah, I think we're going to put these up here. And I need to double check and see if my structural integrity is good at this place. I think I do need to add it down there. So I'm going to have to go underneath and fix that too. But that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And so we've got our ramp here too for our hovercraft to come in. And let's see, where is that going to be? Let me let me do this. We're going to paint this block here, the whole block red. Okay, so one to the east of that is going to be where we need to put in our our block. So where is it? It's under here somewhere. It is under here somewhere, right? <laughs> it's 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 under there somewhere. Okay, let's see. It is on this row and like four blocks in. So it must be underneath this or right over here. Because that's two, three, four. Is it is it is this block just not registering as as solid or what? Let's see. Let's see what that does. Let's see what this does. And we will go like this. There we go. Okay. Yeah, apparently that was <laughs> I like that. This one on top of this one is not yeah, okay, whatever. And so now we're going to turn that back off. And so yeah, we can continue on doing this stuff. So I need to get some oxygen tanks. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move these a few at a time. And yeah, I'm trying to decide if that's what I want to do over here. I do need oxygen and I need, I think we're gonna do the oxygen right here. And so we're gonna go like this with the oxygen and I think we're gonna put cargo boxes over here. So do we have extra cargo boxes? Let me see and find out if we've got cargo boxes. No, we do not. We do have ammo boxes. I need to put that somewhere too. And so we have a medic station. We don't have an oxygen thing. Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to here. So we need an oxygen dispenser or two. We'll get a couple of them. And let's see, maybe some fridges. We've got one, we need a food processor and anything else for the living quarters type of thing. Let's see what we have as far as base parts. We need like at least 10 cargo boxes. And I think we're gonna take out the furnace and move it manually. And we might even want more O2 tanks. What did I just run out of? I just ran out of something important, didn't I? Iron, copper, let's see, energy matrix? What is the energy matrix? Let's see. Is that the, is that this thing? Did I run out of silicon? Okay, so I need, just need to grab the silicon out of the furnace. Let's see, devices, furnace, silicon. There we go. We're gonna go back to the processor and we're gonna put these in here before it runs out and tells me that it can't do it, <laughs> right? Okay, and I think, I think we're good on that. I might even wanna make some more cargo boxes. You know what, I'm gonna make another yeah, I'm gonna make another 10, those only take steel plates anyway. All right, so we're gonna put in like our ammo and cargo and stuff like that. So I think we're gonna stick this in with this and then I think we're gonna put a door here. Let's see. Yep, we're gonna put our door here. I'm just trying to decide if I know that some people are going to like be driven insane by the fact that it's not symmetrical, that it's not dead center on the thing, but honestly, it's, <laughs> it's fine. 
to me anyway. So the other thing I need to remember to do here is, let's see, do we have, we have one force field. I need more force fields because I do want to divide this stuff up. I don't like having giant, yeah, I don't like having giant things. So this is three by five. Yeah, I don't like having giant, uh, let's see, we're going to put this up here. And we could probably even put, yeah, we could put like some, archway across there or something, right? Let's see, is that going to let me even put that there? Because the other thing is, this is what, four blocks wide? Yeah, these are all four blocks wide. Okay. So I just need to figure out how I'm going to do the forest fields here in a way that isn't going to be horrible. So we're going to put this on the inside or the outside is the other question. And let me do this while I'm thinking about it there we go okay so let's get let's get more of these force fields built and we do have we do have the yep Zask Saskosium and Arrestorum on us so we're gonna make 10 of these let me double check in my CV parts nope I don't have those in there okay so yeah we're gonna figure out how to put these up here I think we're gonna need to do a 3 by 5 and so let's see, we're going to have to put blocks across here. So should we just do them square like that? That's what I'm wondering. Is that going to look okay with those squared off like that? I think they will. I think that'll be okay. Yeah, because everything else is. All right, so we're going to go like this. And I just need to double check again. This is going to be on the outside, right? I do want those to be on the outside. I think so. I think so. I think I want them toward the outside. Okay, so we're going to go like this. I just need to figure out how I'm going to get the other the other ones in here because I've got now I've got a 1 by 5 space to fill on that. <laughs> and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. So let's see if this is if these are done. Yeah, we've got a few of them. Okay. So we can go I think we have one by two, one by three, yeah, three by nine. Okay, so we can do, I just wish you could sit the emitter on the side and have it, have it still work, right? But I don't really think that's going to be an option. I think we're going to have to go, let's see. Because if we don't sit it on the floor, we're going to end up, it's going to end up like in the middle of the wall, which is going to look even worse. And so we'll do this in one by two. And let me see. So we're going to put our one by threes. We might as well just put them in here. We'll pick a side. And pick a side. Okay. And then we're going to go this way. And we're going to go one by two. And one by two. And then we're going to do our three by five, which is going to be right up here. There we go. And I need one more. Good thing we made all those, right? And three by five. And we're going to place that upside down. And let's see, do we need to spin it? Nope. Okay. And so there we go. Now this room is separated once again from the other one and we can turn this there we go I was thinking I'm gonna to need to toggle the button but nope you just turn it back on okay all right and so how are we doing on oxygen we have needed to fill currently in tanks currently in base okay all right we are good so we have like 26,000 and our capacity is what does it even show I thought it showed your total capacity I guess not. I guess you have to go to the tanks to do that, don't you? Let's see. Let's see if we do this, it should show us the total capacity. Yeah, it's 26. Okay. So yeah, we actually have more altogether in the system than it can hold. Okay, so the other thing we need to do is figure out a spot to put our ventilator. We can maybe do the same sort of thing where it's up here in the corner. And we can let's see. 
it's going to be up a, in the corner here and then we can do something as far as the as far as the ventilation goes so let's see as far as like the this sort of thing i want to have in pretty much all the rooms i want to have this sort of something that makes it look like the ventilator is actually you know pushing air around the rooms but i think we're not going to do that at exactly this time and so let me double check what we have in here we have 26,000 and they have 8,000 in them okay so if we take out I think if we take out these three tanks and that these five tanks that is there we go so if we take out those five tanks and we put them over here then we should be okay as far as let's see and so I'm probably gonna want to do the same sort of thing where we have a a gate in here and then yeah we're gonna have a door that's like right here so that you can come in and check on all these and so we're probably gonna even stack those up and everything but let's get so now that we've done that now that we've put the other ones back in it hasn't lost any of the oxygen or anything so as you see here we still have all that in the tanks and then we could just do the same thing on this side and there we go I might put something else up here behind this I'm not sure because I kind of like this but I'm also not done in this room I still want to put like we need to put some staff and all of that some more people working and all that stuff and like some some deco the consoles and like a little area that people can sit where they're working and all that so what we want to do is this and I do want to leave this little space in here and so now how much do we have as far as I think we have yeah we're just we just have the one more so I'm kind of thinking I even want to do an extra layer of these and so how many would I need one two three six seven eight nine ten eleven I would need eleven more plus 12 13 14 15 I would need 15 more to yeah duh that's 16 so minus one I would need six 15 more in order to fill out this level so why don't we get those crafting and we could do 10 15 and then we can do this with our cargo area here we can get our cargo placed in here and let's see we're gonna do different boxes and this and this we're gonna pay, play some Tetris here right and like that and maybe even do some of this let's see and one of these under here and let's see we're gonna go like this and throw a couple more of these and probably one of these okay and so there is our cargo area we can probably throw another one of these in here and I can put some labels on them because I'm gonna need to transfer stuff between the old ones and the new ones and I'm not sure if I want to put a roof on this too I think I should I think it should put like a roof like this like this there we go come on there we go so uh, drone was there there we go so yeah now we've got our little cargo room I can do I like that bronze so I think I'm gonna do that again and we can even have you know guards guarding it or something like that let's see let's see if we can do that and so this place is gonna start having a purpose here very soon so let's see we can put a human crew 
Let's see, we can put somebody in here. There's somebody in here like doing that, maybe. Yep, there's the inventory specialist, and then we've got the security guards. Let's see, we can put security guards here and here, right? They're guarding the precious cargo boxes. Pretty cool. And oh, I need to paint these two, don't I? And then we can kind of do the same thing. I think we can do the same thing with the oxygen, something similar like that. We can put these. So we're going to need two, three, four across. And I'm going to need to make more of these, aren't I? So I'm going to need 16, 48. I'm going to need 43. I might as well just make like 50 or 100 of them. Let me get some plates here. Let's see what we have. Oh, there's those two. Let me see what we have for plates. We have tons of plates. Okay, so we're going to make... Let's see, where are they? Where are the fence blocks? There they are. Okay, I, I keep wanting to look for the other thing, not that curved walkway. Oh yeah, we can we can definitely make plenty of those. I even make an extra hundred. Alright, so we got those going. We can put in the oxygen while we're doing that. And is this room yep, the ventilator's on now. So if we do this, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. That's right. Look at all that oxygen in there. Let's see what is it showing for the statistics. Currently in base, 17,000. That's awesome. So, yeah, I love these little octahedra. And fun fact, the octahedron is the solid that Plato decided represented air. <laughs> kind of cool. So he had, you know, the four elements, and he took four of his platonic solids and decided that they re represented the four elements. And that one was air. So, actually, we don't need to stand outside this room in order to do this now because it's it's oxygenated in here too. So yeah, let's get the rest of these put in here. And yeah, we could just fill the whole layer because you can walk underneath them. And it should be okay with structural integrity. Since yeah, I'm pretty, whoops, I'm pretty sure you can hang one oxygen tank off another. And let's see, I'm gonna be really mad if you can't. <laughs> and let's get that other one there. And we'll fill in these spots here, like that, that, and right. <laughs> and let's see if we've got our, see if we've got our. Uh, yeah, I forgot about the top too, so I needed another 16 anyway. Needed 64 just to, just to fill that out. So let's get all of these put on here. See, we could do these here, and like this, come on, like that, there we go. All right, and we can go like this, and put these up here, awesome. And then I'm gonna have to paint them too. But yeah, I think it's coming along, let's, let's get this finished up and then we can walk inside and look and see how it looks. See how our little oxygen nest looks in here? Come on, why is it not? There we go, okay. Yeah, let's see. See if this, see how this works. And we're gonna have to decide on paint and stuff like that for this, but I think this is a really good start. We're not gonna be able to see this from the inside anyway. Oh, whoops, I need to take that out, don't I? There we go. All right, so let's, let's go take a look. And how cool is that, that we can check out our oxygen room. We can fill all of our oxygen. I've got a ton of oxygen here, too. Let me see. Yeah, look at all this stuff. So we can go like this. This is why I wanted to put, like, absolute ton. And we can go... There we go. We've got all that oxygen. Look at that. 56,000. That is really cool. Okay, so yeah, we are totally full on oxygen. We are never going to run out of oxygen. 
And I think that's going to be it for episode 78 because we are out of time for today. So join me in episode 79. And I think between now and then I'm going to do a little bit more of the cleanup. We'll probably I'm going to paint these black and figure out we will figure out the color scheme in in the next episode. I will do that with you guys. But in a bonus episode, I'm going to do 78 and a half. And I think I'm going to fix up all the turrets that we've got out there. I do need to do that. And so, yeah, anyway, join me in episode 79 for more of this room. And we will see you then. Later. Later.